before the video begins i just wanted to pop in here and say happy halloween and this is only part one of this video i will upload part two as soon as possible and also no captions for this one i just didn't have the time hope you don't mind but there will be captions on part two so i'm gonna go back to editing again happy halloween location of your emergency. We need a met, we need an ambulance out at Bonanza Creek Ranch right now. October 21st, 2021 in Santa Fe, New Mexico. People from the film crew of the movie set Rust called 911 and explained to the 911 operator that two people have accidentally been shot. Let's uh, keep on listening. Out at Bonanza Creek Ranch right now, we've had two people shot on a movie set accidentally. He said someone was shot. Two people accidentally with okay. gun, gunshot head on movie set, the Nanza Creek Ranch. Okay, send it, send it. I'll connect you with medical dispatcher. Don't hang up. Who are you calling? Clear the road. The Santa Fe Fire and EMS wants a location of emergency. No, uh, the Nanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Okay. Bonanza Creek Ranch. Come on. Hey, stay on the phone with me. We're going to get some help, okay? Okay. What is your name? Nanny Mitchell. Miss Mitchell, what's the phone number you're calling from? 50. Don't hang up, okay? Hold on just one second. It sounds like somebody else is calling for two ambulances. You better make sure. Good. Everybody should be. We need some help. Us. Director and our cameraman, camera woman has been shot. Are they going to take him to the road? So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? We don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. We have two injuries from a movie gun shot. Okay. We're getting them out there already. Just stay on the phone with me. Thank okay. you. Okay. I just see that yelled at me at lunch because asking about revisions. You seen him lean over my table and yell at me? He's supposed to check the gun. He's responsible for what happened in the family. Now, Mimi? No, no, no. I'm a script supervisor. How, I ran how many sitting, people were injured? Two I w that I know of. I was sitting, we were rehearsing, and it went off, and I ran out. We all ran out. They were butt doubled over the AD and the, the camera woman and the, direct, and the director. They're clearing the road. Can we come back? We're back on the, we're back in the town. I think probably we're back in the western town. Is there any serious bleeding? I don't know. I ran out of the building. What we need is... And I still have to go through these, okay? Are they completely we alert? We don't know. Maybe? Hello? Hi. I have a protocol of questions I need to ask. If you can just answer them the best you can, okay? Are they completely alert? Um, yeah. They, they are alert. Okay. What part of the body was injured? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not in there. Okay, that's um, fine. Is there more than one wound? Uh, I think there's one on 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 two indi individuals. One wound on two individuals. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sending the ambulance help you now. Stand line. I'll see exactly what to do next. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to stop the bleeding. Listen carefully. Make sure we do it right. Um, we do. Um, we do have a a medic on set. A medic on set. They're already doing that. I believe so. Yeah. Is the bleeding controlled? Um, let's see if I'm allowed to get it close as needed. Being around 33. No. Where on the set are you guys? Coming around to that as well. Let me, uh, we got one laying down. Where on the where on the property are you guys? They can find you. Go back to the state. We're on the uh now. We'll, we'll have a I can have a van. A van at gate one. one. Okay. It'll be gate one. Um and I can see that we have a van out there so that way we could uh that kind of an escort you out here. Okay. They're getting there as quick as they can. Um 
I just read here and help us on the way, okay? If you get more okay. information or if anything gets worse in any way, call us back for further instructions. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Santa Fe 911, what's the location of your emergency? Hi, I'm calling back from Bonanza Creek Ranch. We actually need two ambulances, not one. Do you need two? Okay, give me one second. I'm calling. I'm on with 911 right now. Injuries. Two injuries. Two separate injuries. Okay, so we're doing a call now for somebody else already call. We'll get to uh, med two guys, okay? Okay, and that's 10 to 15 minutes? Um, I don't know. We're getting them right now. We're calling them right now to you guys. What? It's two gunshots. What? Yeah, we got two ambulances heading your guys' way. What? Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So according to the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office, they received a call at 1.50 p.m. reporting a shooting on a film set. Investigators have since confirmed that Alec Baldwin discharged the gun at the Bonanza Creek Ranch set, shooting two people, Halina Hutchins and Joe Souza. The shooting occurred during a scene that was either being rehearsed or filmed, but the Los Angeles Times later reported that Baldwin had been rehearsing a scene that involved shooting the pop gun outside of the church on set. Halina Hutchins was rushed to the hospital via helicopter, but unfortunately she didn't make it. And Joe Souza survived his injuries and was released from the hospital the very next day. Santa Fe County New Mexico Sheriff's Office confirmed it was Alec Baldwin who accidentally shot two people on that movie set. One of the victims, 42 year old cinematographer Helena Hutchins was airlifted to the hospital where she died. In her most recent post on Instagram recorded from the set of the film Rust, Hutchins mentions how excited she was to be on the ranch saying one of the perks of shooting a Western is you get to ride horses on your day off. That shooting also wounded director Joel Souza. Baldwin was starring in and producing that Western at the Bonanza Creek Ranch. A spokesperson for Rust Movie Productions said that production on the film has been paused to comply with the investigation and to provide counseling to people working on the film. As of now, criminal charges may still be filed. District Attorney Mary Carmack said, All options are on the table. No one has been been rolled out at this point. And Sheriff Aiden Mendoza said, We suspect there were other live rounds found on set. We're going to determine how those got there, why they were there, because they shouldn't have been there. He also said they recovered 600 pieces of evidence, including three firearms and 500 rounds of ammunition. The investigation is still ongoing. Incidental accidents uh, uh, on film sets. Uh, from time to time, but nothing like this. This is a one in a trillion episode. It's a one in a trillion film. There is a movement in Hollywood to ban the use in movies of weapons firing blanks in favor of computer effects. Baldwin said, first and foremost, he and his family are grieving for the husband and nine-year-old son of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who was killed when Baldwin fired that prop gun that held a live round. He says they have been in close contact. That he is in shock. He has a nine-year-old son. You know, we are, you know, in constant contact with him because we're very worried about his family and his his kid. And uh, as I said, we're, we're, we're eagerly awaiting for the sheriff's department to tell us what their investigation has yielded. Midwest Senate EOC. Nine one. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, I'm at a Dollar General off of Hint Street, and I'm being robbed right now. I need an officer immediately. The Dollar General on 10th, like your, the store is being robbed? August of 2016 in Midwest, CD, Oklahoma. An employee from a Dollar General store calls 911 and says that there's a man robbing the store. He also mentions that he shot one of the workers. The story will be robbed. There's somebody at my cash register right now with the gun, it looks like. I'm scared shitless. My cashier is up there. I think my head is 9221. Do you know if he's armed, sir? Yes, he just shot a bullet. He is oh, armed, just shot. He's being an armed robbery. Sorry, Okay, sir, do you know what he's wearing? Uh, black hoodie and jeans. Black hoodie and jeans, black male, white male? 
Black male, it looks like. Black male? Okay, where Oh my god, he just shot her. He's, I think he just shot her. Just shot the... Okay. 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 I think so. Got it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Hold on one second, Stand sir. Oh my god! Hold on, sir. Where's the cashier? Oh my god, I can't... I just saw how he's in the bathroom. Oh my god, are you okay? Where did he go? Hold on, sir. 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 Hey, sir. 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 Hey, sir, where is the per where is the guy at? Did he leave on foot or in the car? He left on foot. He left on foot. foot. Which direction did he where? run? Where? Headed west on foot. Where? Okay, where is he shot? He shot in the leg. In the leg, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Listen to me. I want someone to get a dry rag and give it to her and let her apply pressure to the gun. I'm doing that right now. I'm doing it with okay, okay, keep okay. Keep pressure on as it bleeds through. Just keep applying more dressing on top. Okay. All right. Is there anybody else in there that can lock the door? I can lock it right now. Okay, run and lock the door. The officer should be. Okay, there should be an officer pulling up any minute. Don't lock the door, okay? Okay. Just tell her to keep applying pressure. Clear in your forehead. I know. Okay. Just keep. Sorry. About how old was he? Okay. About how old was the guy? The guy was like 25, 26, maybe 30. Okay, 25, 26. Okay, I don't have time. I'm, I'm 911. Just go. Just do it, baby. Okay. So he was 25, around 25 years old, white male, black male? I saw him from the camera. He had a hoodie on. He was junior. Did he look about my age? He had a mask on. Okay, is he white male or black male? Uh, he was black. Okay. And do you recognize the guy or anything? He had a mask on. I have no idea. Had a mask on. What kind of mask? What kind of mask, monsieur? Black bandana. Miss Gina, look at me. He had a black bandana? Black bandana. I need an ambulance as quickly as possible. Okay, they are all on their way, sir, okay? Okay, thank the you. The fire and ambulance and police are all on their way to help you. You're in. Okay, in the leg. How old is the girl that shot? Yeah. Sure. It's not your fault, it's mine. You sir. Okay, how old is the guy that shot, or the girl that shot? Miss Gina, um, she, what are you, 45? 52. Okay. It's okay, Miss Gina, it's okay. Your engine four is on scene. You want one? Okay. You want him? Okay, the, I was just talking to the engine, okay? The fire okay. department. Thank you. Is there a police officer there with you yet? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, there is. Okay, I'll hang up, okay? Thank you. Thank you did a great job. Okay, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I couldn't find much info on this call, unfortunately. However, this happened on the 9200 block of Northeast 10th Street. The person who was shot was taken to the hospital and made it out alive. The culprit managed to get away before police arrived to the scene and still hasn't been caught. Then again, this happened in 2016. So if you know anything, you know what to do. Oklahoma City Police, 911, Hi. what's your emergency? Yeah, someone just came into my restaurant and shot through the door. Did what? May 24th, 2018, in Lake Hefner, Oklahoma City. People call him a man in a panic from inside the Louis Grill and Bar and say that someone shot multiple rounds towards the entrance of the bar. Someone just came through the door and shot at my store. In, shot into your business? Yes, ma'am. Shot through the glass door. Okay, just, did they, br it broke? Yeah, the window was shattered. He shot like five or six times. Okay, just a moment. Is 
Was he shooting at anyone? In I'm not sure, ma'am. I was in the I was in the office at the time. I just heard it. Yeah, have you taken a head count of whether or not anybody's <clears throat> injured? Uh, no, ma'am. Everyone's on the ground pretty scared right now. Okay. Anybody see this guy? I didn't see anything. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Does anybody know what he looks like, the guy? I'm, I'm not sure yet. Okay. Can can you ask if anybody can give us a description or a I car? can here in just a second, but everyone's kind of freaked out. I understand. But we'd like to know what kind of car he was I, in. And I understand, ma'am. Um, I've got a couple of bartenders looking outside. Are you okay? They they've got an ambulance coming just in okay. case. It looks like he is wearing a white T-shirt. Well, uh, I hear is, cops are on the way. I hear sirens already. Right. He's there. shooting. He's shooting again. Guys, get inside. Jesus Christ! Okay, tell me what kind of a car is he in? He's not in a car. Three gentlemen just stopped him. Okay, is he white, black, Indian? Ma'am, he's he's in the parking lot. I can't see anything. It looks like officers just showed up on the scene. Okay, but nobody knows what he looks like. Uh, no, ma'am, I'm blocked by cars. I'm on a landline. Okay. I can't really you're, step you're outside. Doing okay, you're doing fine. You're doing really good. Just tell uh, me yeah. if anything else happens, okay? Oh, uh, I will. Uh, look, like I said, it looks like there's an officer on the scene, and it looks like they're handcuffing him right now or doing something. Like I said, I'm blocked by a couple of cars, but he's just out front of the building. Jeez, he beats. Okay, let me ask you a question. Can you okay. remember how many shots he shot into? I want to say at least four or five. I heard a couple pops, and then there was some more shooting outside, but I'm sorry. I'm jarred. This never happened to me before as a manager. <laughs> I'm just getting this for later on because some, sometimes you forget things. Oh, I know. And like I said, it's not something I was expecting to have happen. So I. And <laughs> did you say, what was your name? I'm Nathan Thomason. I'm the assistant manager. Okay. Do you see anybody else that is hurt? Can you... Is everybody okay? Hey, anybody check the I, I'm I'm asking. I'm still on the phone with the cops. What? Huh? Okay, I think I have someone hurt in the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, ambulance is on the way, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, is is she shot? I'm not. Oh, another caller says the shooter was at Mama Rojas also. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, I, you I, cannot, yeah. you, you do me a favor, yeah. lock up the business, everybody okay. stays inside, okay? Okay, I will do my best, ma'am. Okay, and the officers will be there, just have everybody calm down and, okay. you know, do as... Uh, yes, ma'am, I will do my best to get everybody situated. Okay, and you did a great job. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yes, I'm sure. Oklahoma City 911. There's an active shooter. Okay. Louise. I'm Lake Hefner. My daughter just got shot. Okay, where are you at? Louise. I'm Lake Hefner. Louise, do you know that? Louise, I'm Lake Hefner. We're okay. in the girls' restroom. Okay, stay on. Your, your daughter, where did she get shot? 
in the stomach, okay, and it went through and through. Let me get the address just one moment, okay? Stay on the line with me. You're okay. You're okay. I don't want to know. Tell her it's okay. We've got help on the way. Thank you. You're okay, baby. You're okay. You're not gonna die. Why can I breathe? Calm down. Hurry up. You've got to hurry up. Oh, I can't breathe. You're okay. Okay, stay on the line. Stay on the line. Okay, we've got help on the way. Where is the shooter? Did you see the shooter? He was outside. He was wearing. He was wearing headgear. Could you tell what kind of clothing he was wearing? He was wearing uh, ear protection. Ear protection. And he had he had a handgun. Handgun. And he was shooting at the front door. Was he outside we were shooting walking in? in? Yes. Okay. Did as you, we were walking in. And it was a male for sure. It was a male. Do you know if he was black, white, Hispanic, Indian? He was white. I got shot too. You got shot too. Where did you get? Know. Where did you get shot? In the arm. In the arm. Okay. Did you see anything else that could help us? Any vehicle? Anything like that? No. He was okay. standing. He was standing in the trees. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go and answer the other calls for it. Okay. Stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. Okay. Don't go out. Don't. Okay. Stay. Stay where you're at and let us. Let our officers come to you. Stay where you're at and don't move. If you feel safe in that location, then stay there. If you don't, then that's up to you. But if you feel safe there, stay there until our officers come there, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Hi. This is the police department. Hi. Were you calling about the shootings at, shooting at Louise? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you inside? Yeah. I'm with my mom. She just called. Oh. Okay. Are you hurt? No, what's your name? All right, it's okay. Are you safe? I'm safe. Okay, just stay safe. We have lots and lots of help on the way. Are you inside or outside? I'm inside. You're inside in the bathroom? Yes, and I'm with Okay, are you with anyone that's hurt? I'm sorry? My sister was Are you with her? Yes, I'm with her. Okay, let me get you over to Insta. Don't hang up, okay? Yes, So the man that committed the shooting is Alexander Tillman. He was shot and killed by two bystanders. Police say both of the armed civilians shot at Tillman in an attempt to defend themselves and others against Tillman's deadly threat. Tillman was shot at least three or four times. He was wearing ear protection, safety glasses, a white shirt, and khaki pants. By the way, the people that shot and killed Alexander Tillman, one of them is a master sergeant in the National Guard and the other one is a security guard. And the people that were shot by Alexander fortunately survived. He was uh, shot by two individuals last night. All the information I had was only one individual, uh, one citizen had shot, but evidently there was two individuals that, uh, that got firearms and, and shot the suspect. They were not carrying their firearms on them. The firearms were in the trunk of their vehicles. When they saw this incident breaking out, they were, they were able to go to their vehicles uh, and gather their, their firearms, and then they were able to shoot the suspect and put it into a very dangerous situation. Good news we have is that the three individuals that were shot, it looks like they're all in good condition. So that's a, that's a positive note. And then also the individual that uh, got a broken arm, it looks like he's doing well also. Do you consider the two men who shot the suspect to be heroes? I consider them as two people that stopped an incident that was very tragic. 
I mean, you know, you can say they're heroes, and uh, which is a, which is a very good thing to say. But I think they stopped an incident that was very, very bad, and that could we had no idea what he was going to do after he left uh, uh, the Louis restaurant. So, um, you know, heroes is a great terminology. I just uh, say there are two people that stopped uh, uh, a very tragic situation from going any further. And police still have no clue why Alexander did this. However, before the shooting, he had posted videos on YouTube about his beliefs that demons were everywhere. And he also mentions the Illuminati. Yeah, these demons are everywhere, man. Everybody in this mall is a demon. So there comes security right there, probably to intimidate me or something. So. Yeah, you see that woman pointing her finger on her shin, making a pyramid and pointing her finger, saying she's uh, one with Satan and the Illuminati. And also that kid earlier, he was, you know, pointing his finger a bunch of times too, so. I uh, see that lady right there just made a pyramid right there. See that kid just made a pyramid right there. I don't know, it seems like since I messed with my phone or something, it seems kind of out of focus or something, but. See that woman right there just threw something in the trash can right next to me, make a loud noise right there. Sure. Uh, I shall pass, thanks though. All right. Hear how loud that is right there, that banging noise. Yeah, Satan can, uh, you know, make things louder, you know, since we live in a matrix. So when somebody's chopping stuff, you can make it louder. And it just really sucks, you know, hearing them, like constantly banging around and stuff with things everywhere I go, you know, so. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, again, happy Halloween. I'll see you guys soon for part two, which will be the last video of this series. Bye.